Genesis 19, 24 to 26. Then the Lord rained on Sodom and Gomorrah sulfur and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the valley and all the inhabitants of the cities and what grew on the ground. But Lot's wife behind him looked back and she became a pillar of salt. Lot's wife looked back. The Hebrew word there is nabat, which means to look intently at, to show regard to, to pay attention to. So Lot's wife, though she was told to go quickly out of the air, she was looking intently at where she was coming from. She was paying attention to that which she was leaving. This was what seemed to have been her life. This was her life as she knew it. And so it took much to leave it. And so she was focused on it, paying careful attention to it. But what that meant was that she was not paying attention to where she was going. It's important that you look where you're going. Look where you're going, for you will go where you're looking. The number one reason that persons do not achieve their goals and their desires and their intent is a lack of focus. They fail to focus on that which they're trying to achieve. You must remember, you cannot run a race looking behind you. There may be some things behind you, but it's important that you look where you're going. The things of yesterday, they serve their purpose in teaching us particular lessons. Lessons about what we should do or should not do. However, we cannot afford to remain intently looking at yesterday. We must go forward and we must look where we are going. The wise man said in Proverbs chapter 4 verses 25 to 26, look straight ahead. And fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Look where you are going. Paul says, this one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind, I press forward towards the mark the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Forget yesterday. Otherwise, you will get stuck. Stuck like Lot's wife. She became a pillar of salt because she got stuck in her yesterday. Let's not get stuck in our past. But let us move forward, looking where we're going, so that we may attain the prize. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square. 
crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.